Did you see my video last week? Well, if you did, then you know that I got the 2700X AMD. So we're gonna see how that thing actually performed and how I did this week with it. Hey, what's up YouTube? So it's been a while since my last update and it's been almost a week. And there's a good reason for that. I did get the AMD 2700X, which I got last week and I did the, the video on that, but I had the X370 motherboard. Now that motherboard didn't have the update to it, so I had to actually bring it back. And I ended up bring, getting the X470 Pro. This motherboard is way better than the other mo motherboard, and it's actually cost a lot more as well. So, um, one thing with the other one, there is the BIOS on it that needed to be updated. And uh, I really didn't want to mess around with anything. I'm pretty sure if I found a way to flash it, uh, I could have had I could have had that done. But mostly in this this uh, video, I want to go through some of the little things uh and i want to get into PUBG. uh that's what i've been playing most of this week to give the you know cpu a real chance seeing that PUBG is more focused toward cpus that are at four gigahertz or more and i clocked my cpu at four gigahertz exactly and i did a lot of gaming throughout the week uh i did two different versions i did one where i didn't reinstall my operating system all i did is i removed some of the old drivers and stuff like that all i did is started my computer and you know windows 10 took care of everything uh updated the newer drivers and everything like that and got the motherboard set in stone um like i just want to say one thing with this motherboard it did have a better uh sync for rgb um the RGB has a lot of features. However, the actual prism, I think it's called, the, the CPU cooler that you get with the 2700X, uh, it was a little bit harder to find the driver for it because it's actually not directly from AMD. It's actually from Cooler Master, I believe. And you have to get the, the software for that. So the software, after you download the software, you're able to go ahead and you know change a lot of settings. You can change the... Uh, the, basically, you know, the outside ring, you can change the, the fan itself, you can change the logo. So you'll see that there's different, different parts here that you can actually change it on. Now, you can, also with this motherboard, you're able to change the RAM RGB as well, because the RAM actually has RGB, and that's kind of cool uh i also found that you could you you could uh synchronize synchronize it to music or uh your cpu load so it's a different color depending on how much loads going through your cpu um so those those are you know just little things that are kind of cool here and there not you know necessary i'll most likely keep everything blue because my room is blue <laughs> so uh we're gonna go into a few uh you know trials that I did with PUBG this week. Now this footage is actually from my regular hard drive, actually my Fire CUDA, which is almost as fast as an SSD. Uh, this is the one that I didn't do a reinstall on, so this is using the default operating system that I was, I've was i been using for a long time now, and it's just been installed right over right over the old OS and the old drivers are just removed. And as you can see, I kind of stayed over uh, 80 frames per second. Uh, I probably averaged more around 90. I didn't run you know, any direct benchmarks, but uh, I think more in the open areas, I was getting around 117 for the tops. And then I got maybe a low of around 63, 64. Uh, depending on how much stuff was going on. Now on the fresh, now on the fresh install, I really didn't see much difference in the frames per second. Um, I did notice I get like a forty-five frames per second when I'm in menu, and I really didn't check that on my Intel drive to see if I or my Intel CPU to see if I was getting the same thing. It was kind of strange that I, I was seeing that every time I, I dropped down to like 45 frames per second. So if you're getting that, let me know if it's just a normal thing with PUBG that they're 
their frames are capped there. But all in all, the frames per second uh, between you know the fresh install and the other you know the old install, they were pretty much the same. I I didn't see any significant difference in the two. And like I said, it's not an actual benchmark that I ran on them, but if there is a difference, it's very marginal and, and really wouldn't be that much. The only thing I can say is the operating system did run sluggish. Uh, what I mean by that is the mouse itself would uh, just not move how it's supposed to, but it wouldn't happen in game. It would only happen in the operating system itself when I'm like going between applications or uh, you know browsing the web and stuff like that. So it had nothing to do with the gaming or anything like that. Uh, it was just the operating system itself. And I did experience a few crashes. I've never crashed on my operating system before, but after installing a CPU, I did have to hard reboot at least four times this week. Uh, I, I don't want to blame it on the AMD at all, um, but it is kind of strange that I've never had the crashes before. That's why I wanted to make sure I did a fresh install as well, and I did actually get a lockup on the fresh install. Granted, I only used the the fresh install for maybe uh, a day and a half, but the crashes on the old install happened all in the same day. Um, well, actually, it happened over two days. So I'm, I'm not going to say that it's in, it, it is AMD because I have no way to really test that that was the problem, the you know, causing the system lockup or anything like that. Now, there is one thing I can say about the CPU is that it is really fast when it comes to rendering and when it comes to anything as far as applications. It's really fast there. It it does great in the games, as you could see. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure that i7 put it, would gave me, you know, more frames per second. Maybe 5, 10 more uh, on average. But not enough to say, oh, I want to go with this CPU instead. Um, when I'm looking overall, you know, I, I, I needed that ex those extra cores. The 8 cores definitely helps. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching this episode. Definitely hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to this channel. Uh, I'm definitely going to be trying to keep more content coming out this week it's been slow because i've been mainly focused on testing out this cpu and work and stuff like that so let me know what, let me know what you think about the cpu and if you would get it yourself you all have a great day and i will see you later